Biking 1,700 miles cross country, that is a feat enough on its own. But when you hear why one Milwaukee man is taking on the journey, you'll understand why it's so important. Our Madeline O'Neill joins us live at the Milwaukee County War Memorial Center to explain. Well, you always hear that the journey is more important than the destination. And with this, it's really true. There was a send off here for retired U.S. Army Colonel Chris Kalinda, who on Sunday will be getting on a bike to pay tribute to six close to him who died fighting for our country. He may have a 1700 mile bike ride ahead of him. I'm ready. Uh, ready to go. But retired U.S. Army Colonel Chris Kalinda's driving force is never far away. It's got the names of our six paratroopers. So whenever I need a little bit extra motivation, if I'm feeling, you know, I'm hurting a little bit, I just look down. It's been about 15 years since six paratroopers in Kalinda's unit were killed in action in Afghanistan. I mean, they gave everything. So Kalinda is giving his all to honor them, ready to embark on a fallen hero honor ride. I want him to know as flesh and blood human beings and not as just uh, names etched in granite. He'll visit the grave sites and families of each paratrooper, starting in Nebraska with Chris Pfeiffer, who died 15 years ago on September 25th. The next day, his wife Karen went into labor, and the day after that, their daughter Peyton was born. The ride will end at Arlington National Cemetery. But Kalinda's mission doesn't stop there. Within my, my own unit, within our 800, we had six killed in action. We've now lost more than that due to suicide and substance abuse. Money raised from the ride will go to his Sabre 6 Foundation, which supports members of Kalinda's unit and their families. I want to know that somebody who gets them has got their backs. Just as the six paratroopers had his back. Six names still pushing him forward. I'm ready to go. Um, you know, now it's just a matter of getting the job done. Now, Kalinda said he had the idea for this about a year and a half ago, but before that, hadn't been on a bike in about 20 years. But of course, he's put in the training as at, and as you heard, he says he's ready to go. If you'd like to follow along or donate, you can go to honorride.us. We have that website on our website as well. Live in Milwaukee, Madeline O'Neill, Fox 6 News. We wish him well. We'll follow this journey. Maddie, thanks. Mm -hmm.